Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all well and good. So part two in our travel art kit series involves this little small pill box. This is from Daiso. My friend Vicki Brown went to one recently and I asked her if she saw these, if she could pick a couple of them up for me, which she did. And this is cute, it's like a little suitcase. It's very small and compact. It has one section over here with this lid. And then it has three sections over here with these things here. So we're gonna figure out how we can make this into a travel watercolor case. Um, now the first thing I want to do is see if these koi water brushes will fit in. We won't get more than one in, but hopefully we can get one in. I'm thinking it's going to have to go in the big side. Okay, it does fit. Personally, I like a pencil in there, but I think these pencils are all too big. I'm going to have to shorten a pencil. I thought they were pretty short to begin with, but evidently they're not short enough. If you have a stubby Stabilo pencil like this one, that would definitely fit in. But I've said it before, I tend to collect pencils... Um, you know, when I'm at Ikea or, you know, you're out shopping on what, this is from Celebrity Cruises from our Alaska cruise. We were, I don't know, doing something. Um, this is from a burger place in California that we used to love to go to called The Counter. Um, and this one might be nice because it has an eraser and I have two of those. So let's use those. First thing I need to do is shorten these pencils because they are way too big. So let me sharpen them and shorten them. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to be able to get eight colors of watercolor in here. And what I think I've discovered is once I have the pans and paint in, these little lids I think will go back on. So should you have to close it before the paints are completely dry, th this will um, at least a little bit keep it from um, going too far. Plus there's like a gasket on here so it shouldn't leak. Um, there's a lot of different ways you could put this in, um, including gluing them, but again, I love this adhesive tack because although it will stick them down, it's not completely permanent, so at some day, should you decide you want to um, change things around in here and take the paint out, you can do that. Plus, if the bottom of the case isn't flat, this will take up some of the extra space. So all you do is take a blob of it, squish it to the bottom of the pan, Put the pan back in there and push it down. And then I'm gonna just put that back in there and make sure, yep, and it closes. So that side will get four colors in. And it is nice that these come out. Maybe you wanna leave them out. Um, or maybe you want to be able to take them out when you're working on it. You can do that too. So now let's do the other side. And you have a little small watercolor kit. So this is how I would fill it. I'm going to I'm gonna fill these like we did the other ones. Okay, do this. Actually, let's just do this. So we have two, again, again with the eight colors. And we've got our same tubes out here that we had out before. So in this one, I'm going to put some yellow, the lighter yellow. And the more forward one in that same section, holy cow, we have to open these again. All right, we're going to put some of the darker yellow, the orangier yellow. Then we'll do the same thing up next to that, next door, so to speak, with the reds. 
With this selection of colors, which is the same as the other mini kit we did in part one, you should be able to mix uh, a lot of different other colors, browns, purples, pretty much anything you need. And all you would need to do is let these paints dry before you put the little lids back on and or closed it up and you're good to go and you literally have a teeny tiny pocket watercolor kit um, that you could just take anywhere it could just live in your handbag all you need is a little small journal which you can make like we did in part one out of some paper or you could there's a lot of little small tiny um, journals around including ones made with watercolor paper this is, um, oh here, that's about, I, I like to use one about this size, but you could make one that's smaller if you wanted to make one that was smaller. Again, use the tutorial that we show in part one, which I'll link below. And so that's it for today. We do have a part three, um, so look for that. And we are gonna play with our Minion and this clear plastic box in part three. So that's gonna be a lot of fun and I wanna show you a couple other alternatives and um, have some fun, make some art, take it with you on the go. Don't be afraid to do that and like, share and subscribe if you will. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, leave it in the um, comments below the video. Also, don't forget to check out the description for ways to support the channel and the free content here on YouTube. I sure would appreciate that. And uh, above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.